So let's talk about how narcissists love, or if they even do love. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand narcissism and to heal from and transform your life after toxic relationships. Do narcissists love? Well, they have a version of what they call love, right? They will love transactionally, meaning what they get from it, and they will love from self-interest, so how it serves them, the way that you do things for them, the things you do for them, the way you look if it makes them look good, all of those types of things. They will love from that place. They love like like you're an object. They love the way you are as it relates to what they want from you or like you're an object, like I said, based on your looks or what you do or how you present or the way other people see you, right? They love that. They love from emotional instability basically because they have fear of being seen, of being who they really are, being emotionally vulnerable to anybody else, right? And because they lack empathy, they can only protect themselves emotionally through their ego and because of the lack of empathy that they have and the way they actually do not care how other people think and feel, not truly because they lack the empathy to do so. They then lack the ability to truly connect with other people because it requires at least minimally the wonder of who that other person is, right? It requires the well-being being put forth toward the other person to be able to express healthy love. A narcissist will fall in love with the fantasy of you. Have you had this experience where you've noticed that they fell in love with the person that isn't really even you? It's the version of you that they want you to be or the version of you that is in their delusion of how it relates to them and not really who you are. Do you feel totally unseen in your relationship with a narcissist and completely invisible? This is part of the reason. You know, if you are having these experiences, check out the information in the description of each video because there are links there for help in dealing with this. Anyway, if you have experienced this, let me know how it's affecting you, where you feel like the narcissistic person fell in love with someone who isn't even you, who is a fantasy version of who you actually are, that, that they put up on a pedestal and built up for you to believe that's who you are and who you actually are is being devalued within the relationship. Even your strengths, even the good things about you are being devalued because it doesn't suit and fit the narrative that the narcissist has created. So why does a narcissist devalue in love? They devalue people that they claim they love basically when it gets real. When you are presenting yourself as you really are and you're having the expectation that that narcissistic person will do the same. When you have real needs within the relationship, they will devalue. When you see the truths of who that narcissistic person actually is and how that they only function from self-interest, they will start to devalue. When you break the narrative that they created by being a real human being, they will devalue. There's a lot of reasons they devalue, but these are some of the ones that are hard to see because they happen naturally, all right? And they happen within every relationship, but when it happens with a narcissist, they devalue instead of finding value in seeing the whole of you. Let me know what your experience is with all of this and, and how you feel that a narcissist has behaved when they claim they love you. And also don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're liking this content and the notifications button so that you receive notifications when these videos come out. So another thing when a narcissist in the way they love is they love and they abandon at the same time. They give you potentially bits of affection and little, you know, little bits and then withhold at the same time. And through that, they're able to gain control of you because they keep you seeking those little bits. They keep you going after the breadcrumbs so that you think you're gonna get the whole thing, the whole person again. And while they're doing this, they're controlling you. So basically what I'm saying here is the way they love is through control. This isn't a healthy way to be. This isn't a healthy type of relationship and this has nothing to do with you and your worth and what you deserve for love. This is how this person who is narcissistic functions within a love environment and how they relate to others in relationships where love is present. I will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.